All right, today I'm going to show you guys how to change a uh, sensor board on a metal dance pad. Now, there are a few things you're actually going to need. First of all, you're going to need a new sensor board. Now, this sensor board has uh, three wires. Uh, normally, um, it comes with two to three wire. It all depends what kind of sensor board you have and what kind of metal dance pad it has. Um, if it has three wires, then what you're going to do, you're basically going to follow the way the the metal dance pad is with the old sensor board and you're just going to connect them. Now say for instance the sensor board just has two wires that doesn't really make a difference what we'll do is just end up tying these two up together and hooking it up it's not going to be a problem. Next you're going to need a double sided foam tape. Now what this is going to be used for is after we remove the old sensor board we're actually going to take two strips of this and tape it on the back of the new sensor board so it can stick on onto the wood and it will move around when we actually when we start playing next you need some electric tape some black one this is what we're going to use to um to tighten up the wires after we finish um connecting them to the other ones we need scissors so we can cut the foam the foam tape and the black tape we also need wire cutter wire cutters the wire cutters are going to be used to strip the cables for for the connection and you also need a box cutter. I'll show you what you're actually going to need this. And a chisel. The chisel we're going to use to actually remove the old sensor board on the, on the metal dance pad. Now, if you don't have a chisel, you can actually use a flathead screwdriver. It works perfectly fine, but I like using the chisel. It works a little better. Uh, the hammer, so we can actually remove it. And, of course, a Phillips screwdriver. So, let's get started. Now, I had already removed the, the screws previously to this video to make it a little easier. So, first we're going to remove them. We should use a Phillips screwdriver to remove them. Um, next, you're going to remove the arrow that it's not functioning properly, which for us is this one. So, it just comes out. Now, what you got to also check to make sure is that... Um, this um, aluminum foil that's under the under the arrow that um, it's actually in good condition you know you know sometimes you know there it's a little torn or something then it might actually be the arrow that might not be actually working but what I like to do is you know clean it a little bit in case it has some dust or something so when we actually install a new sensor board it will work properly let's put that on the side now the first thing you do is get your uh, box cutter. What I like to do is cut the edges of it of the, around the sensor board. The reason we do this is because it actually makes it easier when you're actually going to remove the sensor board. It actually won't get stuck to the to the bottom of it. So it's actually a little bit easier. So we cut the edges of it on all four sides just like this. That actually what it does it, it cuts the sensor board around so when we try to take it off, it makes it easier. Next, we grab our chisel. What I like to do is um, start from the edges, but make sure that when you're actually removing the sensor board, you actually don't want to cut into the wood, because then you're actually destroying the bottom of the sensor board. So you grab your hammer and your chisel. You start from the sides. Just tap, just tap it. It should come out pretty easy. Make sure you get it. From all sides to remove the glue that's in the bottle. There you go. Just make sure that usually what I like to do is just try to clean off, just clean it off a little bit. Now what I like to do is pull these two wires out a little bit to give me a little extra slack. Just like so. So just make sure you clean out any dirt or anything that I might have on the bottom, any stuff you want to remove, make sure it stays clean. Next we grab our scissors and what I like to do is um, I actually like to cut it at the edge just like that. This is the old sensor board. Now, like I was saying earlier, 
This metal dance pad has two wires. And this one has three, which is not a problem. What we're going to do is we're going to strip these two wires, connect it to this one, and then I'm going to strip these two wires and connect them here. So then I get my wire strippers. Strip it. Same thing with this one. Now on this one, since there's two of them, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten them up here, just like this. Just like that. So they both end up together. Now what I like to do before I actually connect these is I like to get my double sided foam tape. Cut two strips, probably about this long. And place them in the back. Just like this. Just like this. Alright, next we're gonna tighten these two wires up like so. Now we'll tighten up this one right here. So they can be just like this. Let me just remove this. Here. Next, I'm going to get my electric tape. Cut two pieces. I'm going to tighten them up right here. Like so. Do the same thing with the other one. like this. Next what I like to do is I like to push these two wires that I pulled out back as far as I can as much as I can go in because you don't want to be stepping on them later on. Like that. Then I like to clean it up piece of any degree and remove the plastics off the back of the double sided foam tape and put it right back in the center where it was put a little pressure so it can stick push these wires back in as much as they will go okay next I will cut another strip of black electric tape and what I want to do is lay them down and tape them down just like that Cut another piece. Just tape them. I cut one more just to make sure it stays down. There we go. Just clean it off. Like I said, grab your arrow. Make sure you clean it. Make sure, like I said earlier, make sure there's nothing wrong with it, everything's working fine. And you slip it back on, put the screws back on, and that's how you change a uh, sensor board on a metal dance pad.